So um, I'm going to talk about different elements of Chinese medicine and acupuncture. Vas a hablar de los diferentes elementos en medicina china. And put them in the larger context of health and function. Lo voy a poner en el contexto de, de, de salud y, y movimiento. So the first thing we have is called chi. La primera cosa que tenemos es chi. And chi is energy and oxygen. Es energía y oxígeno. And I think everyone would agree that we need energy and we need oxygen for all the parts of our body to work. Y es, es común que pueden estar conmigo cuando tenemos que tener oxígeno y Energy. Energía para agarrar los, para controlar el, todo el movimiento del cuerpo. So that's what chi is. So chi is oxygen and it's carried by the blood. That's why we have this arrow here. Es el oxígeno que está trabajando y está en la sangre. And so I have this arrow here. Y por eso está el, representing that. El, la flecha representando el movimiento de la, del oxígeno en la sangre. So blood is something we talk about in Chinese medicine also. La sangre es algo que hablamos en, en, el, en, la china, en la medicina china. So when we talk about blood in Chinese medicine, it's the same as any other kind of blood. It's not es, some es, esoteric es, thing. Es igual la sangre que en la, china medici, en la medicina china que en la regular. So blood starts in the heart. It's a liquid. La sangre es un líquido que empieza de la, del corazón. And it goes to the lungs. Se sube al, a los pulmones. And gas gets exchanged there. Y gas. Um, like en, oxygen. Intercambio en, uh, uh, hay un intercambio en gases. And then it goes back to the heart. Y regresa al corazón. Then the blood flows through the arteries. Y la sangre se distribuye entre... Todas las arterias. And it goes to the cells to provide nutrition, oxygen, hormones. Y va a los, y directa a los, a todas las células del cuerpo que, que regulan al, a la salud. And the cells also dump toxins into the bloodstream to be cleaned out. También las células distribuyen so the, the uh, toxins from the cells go into the bloodstream. The toxins that the cells produce are put into the bloodstream. And then the blood comes back through the veins. And then the blood is filtered by the liver, it's filtered by the kidneys and the spleen. La sangre, entonces, se está filtrando por la, el hígado, los riñones y... So anyway, it's, it's another organ over here. Yeah. And um, then it also picks up the nutrition from the small intestine. Y recoge el, la nutrición que tenemos en el, en el, el intestino pequeño. And so the blood and the oxygen has to flow through the organs without any blockage. La sangre tiene que correr por los órganos sin que haya um, alguna confusión, ninguna problema. Tiene que estar fluyendo. So, in addition to the organs, we also have the central nervous system. And the central nervous system is composed of the brain and the spinal cord. So, it's both the brain and the spinal cord are the central nervous system. And so the the around the brain and the spinal cord there are three membranes. Alrededor del 
cerebro y en, en la espina dorsal hay tres membranas. And those membranes are called y esas membranas meninges. meninges. So the between two of the layers is where the blood flows to the brain. Entre esos dos, um, so between there's three layers to the meninges. Hay tres, tres com, tres partes del que consiste el meninges. Eh, son so between two, like the meninges are like this, this, and this, and then we have the spinal cord in the brain here. Esos son los membranos. Y ese es el, this is the spinal cord the, or brain. Es, and this is a membrane, and this membrano. is a membrane, and this is a membrane. Esos son todos los tres membranos. So we have blood. All the blood that goes to the brain and spinal cord goes between these two membranes. Toda la sangre que va entre la espina dorsal y, y el cerebro van suben por ahí. And then the cerebrospinal fluid. Y el, y el, es el cerebro spinal fluido. And that's produced by the brain. Y eso lo produce el, el cerebro. And that also feeds the brain and the nerves. Y, y eso también le da a los nervios de comer. And so the blood flows between two layers. Entonces la sangre corre por dos. And the cerebral spinal fluid flows between the other two. Entonces el, cere el cerebro fluid corre por uno y la sangre y, el, y la espina dorsal por el otro. And these membranes allow some of that to go into the brain and the spinal cord, but it also blocks toxins. Y también Pueden meterse por ahí, pero también los bloquea los toxinos. So that's what we call the blood-brain barrier. Y ese es el, el, la sangre. So we have what's called the blood. Tenemos la sangre. Brain. Cerebro. Barrier. Which helps protect the brain from toxins yes, and que, other things that might be circulating in the blood. Yes, la parte del cerebro que protege a su a su cerebro para que no entre toxinos. And it also keeps infection out of the brain. También causa que que no entre infección al cerebro. But sometimes because of accidents. Pero porque a veces hay accidentes. It could be a car accident, it could be a work injury. Puede haber un accidente de automóvil, de, de accidente así. At work. At, too. En el trabajo. And because of a sudden movement or a twisting of the neck or the spine. Y con el movimiento rápido del, de la nuca o del, del cuello puede haber then we can have a twisting and a, a compressing of the meninges. Y hay una compresión de, de los meninges en, el, en la nuca. And when that happens, then we can have pain. Y hay, y causa and we can have dolor. Um, numbness and tingling. Um, puede haber um, cuando se te duermen los pies. And we can have... Um, a weakness that goes on also. So this kind of situation that occurs when we have a meningeal compression is similar to what can happen in a stroke. Where the stroke causes a decrease in the blood flow to particular nerves donde el stroke causa que haya no hay comunicación entre las células y la sangre y hay y causa el stroke. Perfect. So the central nervous system is very important for the control 
of the body. Regula todo, todo el cuerpo. 